students i hope you doing great so in this video we are going to do work on oxford countdown book 5 third edition so now let's get started let me show you the page the page is 1 120 and our chapter is geometry exercise is exercise 7a and our page i mean our question is question number 6 now let's read it draw these angles using a protractor so you got to do nothing just draw angles i hope you know how to draw angles in angles you get your d scale and a scale and a marker or if you wanted to use a pencil i will use a marker to show you better so now let's see our first one is 40 Let's see. Do our D scale has forty? It has forty right here. So first thing I gotta tell you, you can use the inner line or outer line. But I was I wanted to use outer line. So this one, okay. So if you use inner line, your forty should be here, okay. And if you do use outer line, your forty should be here. So that's why I am doing the outside one. That's why I'm. doing it like this let me show you get your marker draw a line as how you like so yes you know draw angle right here you draw your angle here angle right here because you are doing the outside one okay put your dot right here on the 40 angle and draw the angle Of forty, okay, like this. Here is the angle of forty. Then measurement it perfectly. If it comes on not forty, you can you know remove it or you can draw another one. But mine is perfectly done. That's why put a dot right here if you like. You can also put arrows and put this little mini circle line. I call it sad because it looks like this sad right that's why and now right 40 done so our first angle is done now let's go to the b part which is 90 let's see if our angle has 90 right here in the middle draw a line let your d scale put it right here because you're using the outer boundary like this then you draw a line and i forgot to tell you if you even like you can put 91 right here to draw it but i'm using this area because my style is this way that means i you know i like to do work from my this hand that's why i do everything this side okay and you can do it how you like Let's go to our next angle, which is, I mean, next part, which is part C, fifty-five. So in our angle, we doesn't have fifty-five, only fifty. Count five line, one, two, three, four, and five right here. Let me show you now. There you go. Perfect, right here. count five line and it comes right here done draw a line put a dot or arrow you like put this little whatever you like to call it i not call it anything i just call it a line that's right go to your next part which is part d and it is 60 this video our angle has 60 yes it is right here done we are is 60 i mean right here so we are going to put a dot on it and put a line right here excuse me this little you know all that but it's okay ah <laughs> sorry put a 16 inside if you like to put a dot you can put a dot Your own choice. 
now part e which is 115 degree let's see how d scale has 115 degree so some people think 115 degree is this but no it is this 110 okay because it says 115 so we are going to count five lines right here it comes so now we're going to draw angle it draw an angle of it okay perfect now you put this dot and get your dot i'm sorry i said dot two times but you know it's a d i just mixed up sometimes the letters that i gotta say i'm sorry about that but i understand that now the last part which is part f one one five I mean one four five degree let's see it is right here because we cannot go right here because it says four in the middle count five lines let me show you there you go then count your five lines which should be right here no and draw the angle perfect Lee done 145 this is how you do these these angles and if you see these up angles right here and these angles i will do them in next video so yes this is for today and i hope you like the video please like and subscribe to my channel bye see you next time